Hello procrastinators, Sam here. Welcome to I sit in the corner while Twipper Prem yell at each other 40 minutes. Yes! <laughs> no, just joking. So, um, I decided I just wanted to have kind of like a debate. Uh, I, I don't think it's any secret that me, Twip, and Premi all have different views on the series. So I'm like, okay, you know what? Let's just let's just bring us all together in a call and let's just go through each mainline Sonic game. And just say what we think about him. And who knows? Uh, let's let's see what happens. This is basically a case study. <laughs> we'll hear Twip's opinions. We refer to those as the wrong ones. And then no, we, we don't. So, we refer to them, them, as, we refer to them as the facts. Opinion. <laughs> okay, so. My opinions are objectively correct, so they cannot be debated, Twip. End of story. All right, uh, guys. All right. Send from here. With that said, let's start with Sonic the Hedgehog 1. Original 1991 release on the Sega Genesis. Sonic 1. Classic fans act like the era was so perfect. Uh, oh, you know what? You know what? Sonic they had three One. Three axe puzzles. Oh, Sonic three One. Acts. Oh man. Sonic One was underrated and still is. It How is was not it underrated. It's the it's highest not, it's game of the franchise. Let me rephrase that. It is the most underrated classic Sonic game because it's always the one that is considered the worst. And I don't think it is at all. Yeah, you're, you're right. CD is the worst. Well, that's, that's, uh, that's no, oh no, boy. it's not. <laughs> okay, so the worst is Sonic Two. <laughs> Sonic One for me served as again a test ground for what Sonic can do. So obviously, I mean, Green Hill Zone was really the Green Hill Zone and Starlight was like the really only some of the only levels in the game that really take advantage of Sonic's momentum and speed. Um, to say I will I will agree a little bit that Sonic 1 wasn't the best in terms of you know getting used to Sonic because the second zone is Marble Zone which was nothing but slow uh linear yeah. pathway okay okay, okay. underrated well, unpopular you opinion know Marble Zone was you know what? this is gonna be surprising Prem's about to say that Marble Zone is underrated and I'm about to agree I think really? the level design is slow but I fucking love the aesthetics I love the music Oh yeah, I think I, the whole think, project. Well, I mean, that stuff is great for any level. It's just you know, like we like again. What I like in Sonic One. In fact, you know what? I want to. I want to just not just talk about Sonic One. I want to make this about Sonic One versus Sonic Two real quick, because I'm oh, I'm ready to to, to punch Twip in the face here. Now listen to me. Right. <laughs> I have a firm belief that Sonic Two in every way is better than no. Sonic One. That no, is like the believe. general that's consensus that's, that's of this fact. series. Or well, the general consensus is wrong. It's wrong. <laughs> wrong. Oh my god. How? Sonic, <laughs> okay. Sonic Let's 2 was this. the ultimate evidence that okay, okay, 2X okay. is the prime and 3X is too many. And then they went um, to 6 right. as well. I'm getting ahead so, of myself. So hang on. Explain, to, real quick. Explain why you believe Sonic 1 is better than Sonic 2. Okay. Uh, number one, uh, the special stages suck in Sonic 2. They are absolute trash. In the Christian Whitehead port or re remaster, content. they were way better. In Sonic oh. 2, they are absolute dog trash. I hate them. They so your first, your first point is the extra no. content, which for, for starters, <laughs> okay, the special stages in Sonic 1 do two. fucking nothing, right. for the record. Right. Two, nothing. The most important part, oh the fucking level design in Sonic <laughs> yeah. 2 is... They do nothing in Sonic 1. Uh, they don't even uh, need to be there. Okay, the level design. Is trash in Sonic 2. Okay, to that is literally factually false. That is a lie. Yeah, sure. You know what? Not by his linear. Okay, yeah. let me explain real quick. Objectively. From my point of view, here's the thing. I grew up on Sonic 2. So I understand that there's, there's gonna be a little bit of nostalgia bias there, and I do I do I do bring that as a fact. But I'm the thing, so the I'm thing is, equal. I also did grow up with Sonic 1 at the same time, but I always like Sonic 2 more for the fact that it doesn't slow you down forcefully. Uh, unlike, you know, yeah, like we have levels like Metropolis Zone, and we'd have some things that aren't the best, but about 85% of Sonic 2 is all about your choice of momentum, your speed, and you getting better and keeping your speed going. There's literal points in Sonic 1 where you can't just keep going. The game will force slow you down. I agree. I agree that Sonic 2 balances speed and platforming better than Sonic 1, which kind of just like, here's the platforming part for like but 30 seconds. Easier one, so it's right. oh, but the level design in Sonic 2 is so problematic and 
bullshit with his enemy placement. Oh, it's not okay, one. that sounds oh, like just like Grand Act Three. Oh that my god! That sounds God-ish. like you're just talking about Metropolis Zone only. No, and- <laughs> they're just like a quiet ruin where there's so oh, many different. Aquatic the ruin is the best water it. level though, because you can choose to be in the water or not based on how good oh, yeah. you are. I love it when enemies pop out the wall from nowhere. Boom! Ring's gone. That's why oh, you, you gotta be. That's why you gotta replay the game oh, and get oh, better oh. at it. Anyways. <laughs> I think no. See, he is—he is my approach to Sonic. <laughs> I shouldn't have to memorize a level a trillion times. You played Sonic at heights for seven hours straight, though. What was that for? Well, hold on. Right, we're not, we're not on forces yet, Prem. You we're shit. talking about two D and classic Sonic. It just—it just it mixed up in my brain. <laughs> we'll get to forces, but hold on, real quick. So, that argument that you shouldn't have to replay a level to like know where they are. But no, that, no, no, no. I'm not saying you can like the enemies should like you should be able to see them coming. I will agree, Sonic, there is are Sonic, enemies. Sonic is designed in a way that you don't even take any real pain from getting hit. You just lose rings, which you just grab again. It's not which like you die by getting hit. Stages, which are needed for the special stages. So, I agree that the rings definitely help with that, with that fucking shit design, but yeah. It's no. <laughs> I just oh think that God. the enemy placements, I think the bottomless pits, like the one in Bloody Mystic Cave when you supersonic, oh shit, I'm stuck at the bottom oh, forever. Bottomless pit um, the bottom. That's why it's a, that's why it's called a regular so, pit. Here's, yeah, well, pit. Here's my thing on Sonic 2. Like I mentioned, I know you mentioned the special stages before. The thing with Sonic 2 is that it gives you multiple chances to do the special stages, unlike Sonic 1 where you have a set, you have like, what, like you have like, one per one per action. Action. Yeah, one action. 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 I knew you were going to bring this up. Because the, the, the checkpoints are closer to each other, you're likely to collect less rings. Plus, if you slightly go off screen when you run past a checkpoint, bam, that's it. It's gone forever. You're talking about at the very end for the boss? No, I'm talking about when in Sonic 2, mm-hmm. when, you, when you get one of the checkpoints and you've got 50 rings, you go slightly past... Like, you go slightly off screen with that shit, but and that is gone. if you going into it, you would stop. Right, like, oh, but I mean, then it goes back into that hole, you have to know okay, exactly where the Sonic checkpoints one, are. If you finish the level and you don't go here's, into the room, here's, here's enough, my thing. then you can't go in. I mean, I agree, that's also like, here's my the time thing. limit. I do, that I do hear fit. it a lot that Sonic 2 special stages are kind of BS because you have to memorize that, but here's the thing. I did it when I was, like, six years old. So like I, I I and I was not like a quote unquote gamer at the time. I was a six year old kid, so I really don't think they're I didn't as even know you bad. Special stations as a kid, to be honest. I really don't think they're as bad as people make them out to be. But the thing that I like about Sonic Two Special Stages versus Sonic Ones is that Sonic's Ones sometimes you can lose and you have zero control over it because the stage is rotating constantly. Right, you know what? Uh, have 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 you thought about the level? Sonic level one special stages you easy, will yeah. never be able to convince me that the special stages in Sonic Two are good. I they are some of the worst in the whole franchise. But here's easily. the thing. But here's the thing though. You wanna know why that the special stages don't bother me though? Is because I actually like the bad ending in Sonic Two. I like the bad ending more than the good ending. So I, it doesn't bother me when I don't get all the emeralds in See, Sonic Two. Even, like, even Sonic when, when One, I, I don't even get the emeralds in Sonic One. I really don't. Well, you know like, what? Nobody really cares. I agree with you because of what they did to Tails in uh future games I yeah. do. all right so real quick let's move on to sonic cd real quick before we go on to sonic 3. now i don't sonic 2 <laughs> just kind of boy in oh no we did actually no, I, did. But I forgot to say sonic 2 is the worst classic sonic game that no that, you said it already and i was wrong before i, and was wrong I now. don't hate cd i just think that it's the worst classic Sonic game. I, no, I, 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 game I really of the main think of, from forces. I, I kind of think about CD the same way I think about Sonic One. The thing is, is like the only difference that I hold CD to is because they, Sonic One already came out and they didn't seem to really take anything from what they've learned, uh, other than like some levels here and there. But we have levels like Wacky Work Bunch where the bottom of the level just consist- continuously bounces you up, like level design like that completely hinders the game and honestly it's so hard to see what's like i played that game so many times and i still it's hard to see enemies okay. because the background Damn. is so vibrant yeah what's up couldn't i say the same thing about Sonic 2 i feel like the colors in cd make it in the background in cd is more makes it more hard to see than in sonic 2 i feel like sonic can i 2's- just mention again aquatic ruin Again, because that stage has a huge visibility issue. The best part of Sonic there CD is, parts is in... when you get to the end credits, 
and you realize that it's finished, you don't have to keep playing it. And you know what? Can we mute Prem? Because CD is a very cool game. I agree that its level design is really wonky and strange. CD is the worst but class it definitely has a style. It's too bland. The level design discourages movement in the forward uh, this is gonna be This is going to be a cheap point on my end, but the game is so bizarre and weird that it makes it have charm. That's the and thing. You can no, still, no, the game no, has no. charm. And you can still speed run the game like a normal Sonic game. I've done it before. Like You can still speed through the stage. Oh, Twitter started before, so that means you should all enjoy it. Yes. <laughs> This is uh, started before. just a quick message that, you know, I do not endorse what any of these two are saying. I'm just joking. But, <laughs> uh, also, so the best soundtrack in the whole series. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. No, no. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yes. The soundtrack in yes. CD. Yes. Like, CD soundtrack Japanese. is overrated. Japanese do not soundtrack. say that about the Japanese soundtrack in Sonic oh, CD. It's overrated. <laughs> You yeah, has a few standout songs. The rest are all right. Oh, boy, well, Prem. Prem likes the Sonic 4 soundtrack. <laughs> oh, honestly, I feel like it's not hard to beat the Sonic 4 soundtrack. It's better than the main Mr. soundtrack. Mr. Cole's is right there. now. Prem, the wait, wait, what did you just say? Prem, Hold on, wait. Twip soundtrack. makes the Forces OST is better than the main OST. If you want to go oh, yeah. there now, we can go oh, there. Okay, we'll get there, Prem. I guess, considering Prem, the fact that's Which soundtrack do you prefer, Sonic 4 or Sonic CD? You just fucking move on to the next which one. Which one is it? No, what's the, what's the answer? What's the answer? Come on, just answer it and we can move on. The the one from the 2D game. Which one? Sonic 4 or Sonic 2? I mean, Sonic CD, sorry. Sonic CD or Sonic 4? Come on. I'm going to assume he's going to choose Sonic CD. If you choose Sonic 4, I swear. He's choosing... No, Sam. <laughs> Sam, actually, Sam actually, the answer may surprise I'm, you. I'm going to check my tier list because I don't actually remember what I put. Let me see. Sonic Sam, um, the answer is Sonic 4. No, he let said, me he check. Said it. Let me he check. Said, let me check the tier list first. He said it to me before. I remember. You have to. Do you have okay, a list? Yeah, Sonic 4. Do you have Sonic to check 4? a list? Well, yeah. Well, you don't have to check it, but we've got we've made like Sonic tier lists for music Just in there. the past. I, I put it in the Discord. You put yep. it in D. You put it in the same one as Sonic no, Chronicles? No, no, no. The no, D one no, no, is the no. US one. The D one is the US one. It's in Rise. C is oh the Oh my one. God. Wait, what the hell is Sonic Mania doing there? Oh my god! Sonic Mania is S rank, young man. Don't number two. Oh my god! I oh, look at where Sonic Four is. It beats Colors. That's a good Colors. Anyways, uh, anyways. Generally, the soundtrack is overrated as well. But all right, you so guys are official guys. So Sonic, Sonic, Sonic Three Sonic and Disney Knuckles. Song. Sonic Three and Knuckles. The best classic Sonic game. I would, well, uh, I, I would say it's it also best. After, it's second after Sonic Two, then it's Sonic. 3. I mean, the thing is, is like I like Sonic. Okay, here's the thing. Like I mentioned before, I have like I grew up with Sonic Two, so I have nostalgia for that game, and my go-to is always Sonic Two. But I will agree that Sonic Three Knuckles is the better like experience, like whole package when it's put together. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, but I do but still like Sonic though. Two. What it's up? Question though. What's up? Because we're, we're going in order, right? We have to also treat them as separate games. No, we don't. Which half is better? Well, no, no, no. We Sonic 3. Why do, why, why do we have to split them up? They're, that, well, it is they one game. They release separately. They release separately, yeah, but they are one game. Each one. Yeah, I but prefer they release Sonic like four for each, though. I feel like we still have to discuss them as separate entries as well. I don't think All we right. have to because it's like. It's not a bit. It's not a bit unfair that we we just assume that it's one and we don't even review them individually. Th that's like, not an assumption. Oh, okay. well, hold on, it's, it's not. Really it's not an it assumption. Yeah, they are one game. They were just released separately because yeah. of. But when they were released, they were reviewed individually and compared. Right, but they've been. Well, it's been officially re-released as Sonic Three and Knuckles. I, okay, I, so if they if they released. Colors and gens is one game. Do we forever? That is not the same thing. You know it. Generations was it made when they argument. made colors? The thing is, is well, actually, do you see my video? Where uh, they actually, both colors gens only made because they could have. Right, what's the source for that? What's the source for that? There's a source for it. It's in the, the, the is description. It, how is that the first time anyone's ever heard of it? When these magical accounts came up, by the way, I'm just saying. The hey. source was there before the accounts. They just found it. Look. All I know is I, I can't really choose because I, I, it's been so long since I played them separately because I've I've almost always played them together. Um, yeah, you know which so you Sonic know which one's game is Sonic 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 which famous game is Sonic and Knuckles. Um, Sonic Three has Angel Island, Hydrosity, Ice Cap, Launch Hydrocity. Base. Yeah. Hydrocity. Sonic Three only had one bad zone. Sonic and Knuckles. No, had, real like, quick, let's go points. into that. 
Tell me why you think it's Hydro City and not Hydro City. Because there's no spaces in the game. Tell, question, question, question. What is a hydrosity? There you go. I mean, what's a radical highway? What makes the highway radical? Yeah. I... But no, 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 no. But what is <laughs> what, but a hydro city is a water city. Right. Well, then tell Sega to stop putting spaces in the rebel <laughs> name in the game. Well, the dude that says uh, the the the. The spelling of GIF is GIF, but the two that made it was calling it GIF. Yeah, why, He's why wrong. Why the Sega in, why the fuck <laughs> the Sega in the soundtrack releases spell it Hydro City, but then in the game spells it Hydrocity. They've done it multiple times. You know what? I mean, I, I do agree. agree. Like, yeah, the spelling like, was off, but it's still Hydro City. Craig, I think uh, what it I is, is, I think the Japanese people wanted it to be Hydro City, but, but, but yeah. they translated it poorly and it became known as Hydro City by a lot of people. Yeah. But yeah, frankly, Hydro City sounds cooler. So and I think it sounds cooler, but I also agree it should be Hydro City, but I did. <laughs> They should just stick with Hydro City game. because it, it sounds better. In the end, but like in the end of the day, though, I think like we should just sum up Song Three. I think Song Three has some of the best uh, level design. It has some of the best music, the best style, the whole package, the bosses, and again, just yeah. making you feel like you really did something. I feel like having the Super Emerald and the or the the Chaos Emeralds and the Super Emeralds was actually really cool, and I really hope they freaking bring those back because again, it. it you can get to the final you could get to doomsday if you just get the super emeralds but or if you get the chaos emeralds but the super emeralds were really just there to just uh, really kind of just push uh supersonic to the next level and really break the game and it you have to really work for those you have to do uh 14 levels of super super uh, special stages. It's a lot a lot of fucking blue sphere um, yeah but you know it's what? so blue sphere, me, uh, it's, blue sphere is sick and That's the best classic Sonic uh, special stage. And you know what's great? Each character, Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles, they have their own set paths, and they have their own story. Well, uh, Sonic and Tails versus Knuckles. You know, Knuckles having his own paths and his own story is really cool and a really nice touch of the detail. And that's something no. I could give Sonic 3 versus Sonic Mania, actually, where Sonic Mania... They all the characters hey, have I, the I same story. Knuckles is better than Mania. But, oh, me too. Me, oh, absolutely. But, but I mean, that's just you know, obviously originality and representation. But yeah, but yeah, that's all it really comes down. If, if I'm gonna be means... honest, honestly, should we just move on to Mania, to Mania. like right now before like yeah. just? Well, like... actually, let me, let me let me round off my my Sonic Three. And yeah, Knuckles go ahead. Because I feel like yeah. The Sonic 3 portion is so much better than the Air Knuckles portion. In fact, I usually would play 3 on its own. Only reason I'll go into Air Knuckles is because the first two zones, being Mushroom Hill and Frying Battery, which is one of my favorite classic zones ever. But aside from that, I could just stop after that point and just be fine. But I understand that people like the full package and the way it comes together, but... Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I, I would, would like... easily... I would say that Sonic 3 Knuckles is one of the best Sonic games, 100%. It's in my top 5. So my top 10, just about. I really think there's never been a more consistent Sonic game since. Um, so, um, I disagree. Sonic well, well, hold on. I, Sonic Mania. Well, hold on. I Here, Sonic... Here's why Like, I love Sonic Mania, and here's the reason why I love Sonic Mania, and it's for a different reason. I think Sonic Mania gets the level design portion of Classic Sonic down better than Sonic 3 Knuckles. I think that like Sonic Mania totally gets level design wise. Yeah, I know the game wasn't original fully, but like that's like another like pr that's just another thing. The game when it comes to pure level design and pure gameplay, I, I feel I like even, uh, even, okay. on, even on pure level design, I would say that on some levels, yes, Mania does it better than Sonic Three, but not in the whole game. Like in the I high would, points, I, yeah. I, I, I could play devil's advocate here and say that Sonic Mania maybe pushes for the speed a bit too much. I know some it, people that uh, were put off by that. It does, because, because, and I mean, this is obvious, you should notice at this point, but Sonic games have been progressively getting easier to make them more accessible. Sonic 1 was harder than Sonic 2, Sonic 2 was harder than Sonic 3, and Sonic 3 is harder than Mania. I, I, say three, I, I mean, actually three don't, together. I actually really feel like, I feel like Sonic, uh, okay, no, I probably should, okay, the thing is like, oh, I feel like Sonic 2 is easier than Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I know, like near the end, Sonic Two can be kind of BS, but like in 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 terms of like the whole package, I feel like Sonic Three and Knuckles can be harder to do when you try to get like everything and and, and just get the good ending. I mean, everything, I mean, everything's a bit different, you know. Yeah. Sonic Two, I think more people would struggle with the special stages than Sonic Three in terms of level design. Well, no, that's not it being hard. That's just them being designed like shit. 
It is because harder if you play to beat. If you right? play the, if you it's play the harder the for someone to beat. Oh That's God. what I'm saying. Now, Prim, if you play, the Whitehead, if you play the Christian Whitehead Sonic 2 on mobile, we're talking game. about the original Benedict. Oh, right, God. and I bet you're saying, oh, they've been getting easier, you know more accessible. No, 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 no. Sonic 2's for the special stages are just designed like shit. Is Sonic 3 yes. easier than Sonic 2, Benedict? I don't know. Okay, well, oh, oh, all we right. So, it? on that note, I think we covered really all the classic games. I think the main for Mania, we know the general consensus. Great level design, uh, great stuff like that. It just comes down to originality. So it's just like I, I want to not not just originality. I, I genuinely think some of the levels aren't that fun. Like Press Garden Act One was not that fun. Um, agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. Lava Reef drags on, but to be honest, it dragged on. Oh, I love, no, I love Lava Reef. I think the only thing that dragged in Mania was uh, battery, uh, Flying Battery. But then that was soon! I, I, I really think Flying Battery just... Uh, I remember, my, I think on my first playthrough, I actually think I got a uh, time over in Flying Battery. Oh my god, I got a time over in... I got a time over in Chemical Plant Act 2. <laughs> how? 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 Okay, how? so you know... So there's these parts where you go in the jelly ship and you go into like a loop. Mm -hmm. I didn't know where the opening was in oh, the loop. And yeah. I kept on bouncing. I was like, what the fuck am I meant to go? And I wasn't in the precise spot. So I was like, what the fuck do I do? And then I got a game. Oh, over. come on. Tom. I was like, God damn it. I figured that out. I know. I'm okay. I'm going to call it right here. So I'm going to say Sonic Mania soundtrack isn't that good. Okay. Okay, Twip. Let's just talk about that real quick. Yeah, How let's talk about it. Do you Actually, think we should, we should have? We my God, my my Lord and Savior T Lopes just didn't deliver for you. Let's just hear. Right, let's just well, hear about here's that. the thing. I think T Lopes makes uh, fantastic compositions. His work on Team Sonic Racing mostly was excellent. I hate the results music. Um, I think oh, the I he could even give him that. He was like, most this is just a reminder that Team well, Sonic Station does not endorse anything that this man is saying right now. But okay. No, no, no. In, in Team Sonic <laughs> Racing, there was the results music used the same instruments as Sonic Mania, and that's my issue. I think a lot of the instrument samples sound really lame, especially the trumpets. Uh, I think a lot of the tracks have the same bass feel, and it it makes them all blend together. I mean, um, I mean, we're talking if about that makes sense, it sounds... which uses the exact same shit on I every think, all right, song. so if you... Right, so if you compare Sonic 3 to Sonic Mania, Sonic 3 sounds more... Because it's more chiptune-based, it sounds it sounds more clean. It what sounds... Sound? We'll be using the same sounds okay. for every zone in I, Sonic I 3 I feel well. like we're going to be arguing about the music for, like, forever, and I feel like we just okay, got let me just, to get a Okay, okay let, me just, okay, let me just sum it up. Uh, the, the instruments in Sonic Mania are not that good, but the new tracks have some fantastic compositions. I would give the soundtrack a, a B. Okay, and I would give you a D. So, okay, so oh, shit. Uh, let's what? move on Wait, what? to... Let's move on to oh Sonic Adventure. Sonic Adventure. Underrated masterpiece. Anyone who thinks it's wrong, best Sonic control in a 3D Sonic game. Let's go, okay, okay. Uh, the story in Sonic Adventure because it's amazing. It's aged, it's aged so badly that it's unbearable to watch, and I can't watch it. Ooh, you, do you think the story in Adventure is bad? Uh, um, I think uh, it's aged so poorly that the presentation of it ruins it for me. Okay, okay. I, I do not. Okay, listen, so, listen. Oh. I do not like that argument of something aging poorly. The thing no. is, it's like. Because, okay, yeah, I do understand, like, things can age poorly, but, like, Son like Super Mario 64 also aged poorly, and people do not give that right, game the amount it's of it's shit that they give Sonic. Focused, it's not focused on the story. I'm saying the presentation of the cutscenes and the voice acting, all that, I think it's all hot trash now. I think it's all completely terrible. Well, yeah, Except of course the intro. they were the great, intro but th again, that's just... Okay, here's the thing that people need to understand. The game came out in 1999, but the game was made in 1998. Like, I feel like I'm, people forget that. Like, this is... At the time, that was anything. revolutionary. I'm not judging for games at the time. I'm judging for games now, and I think now the story is hot trash. I think the gameplay is excellent. I love Sonic stages and that. Yes, well, even be in the the story, yet, but, yeah. uh, the soundtrack, phenomenal, always will be. But the story and the way it's presented, I think it's just the worst I don't, I in think, the series. I think the story did something that, uh, like, I, I really do think the story in Adventure 1 was honestly not bad at all. Because uh, having a, a character, uh, there's two things. Having um, uh, a quote-unquote villain like Chaos 
is just such a cool concept to have this water monster that morphs and keeps on growing. Well, no. If you want to, like... if you want to talk about the core story, I don't think it's bad. I think the presentation ruins it. You mean okay? When you mean you mean like just just voice acting and the graphics and the voice animations. acting, all that stuff. Yeah, like animations and just yeah. Yeah, I know. Mix. Yeah, I know that stuff holds it back. But does it really ruin the entire experience for you? For me, for me, it does. For the story, maybe it ruins the whole story. Mm -hmm. I skip scenes every time because it's just unbearable. So it's wrong. Honestly, oh, I'm able yeah. to look past. I'm able to look past those flaws. Honestly, because I, I really feel like it does something that. Honestly, okay, because one of the stories I think about that not a lot of people think about is honestly Gamma's story and adventure is actually really freaking cool. A badnik that agree. becomes self-aware and it's a it's a bird that that becomes self-aware inside this mechanical suit and becomes it, it, it goes on this way. Like, it's too like advanced to be called a badnik. Isn't it like the basic shit that gets the badnik title? Wait, what is it? Like you know, like those one-hit enemies usually called badniks, but like. The big ones like Gamma and Omega, they don't usually call them Badniks. They're just well, like I, see, I call them Badniks because it's a it's a robot being controlled by, or being powered by an animal, Badnik. But essentially, what it is though, it's an E series robot that the first one, by the way, that that again, it starts this trend of having E series robots and they grow each game until they stopped doing different iterations of them. I think the last one was uh, Sonic. Wasn't it Sonic Unleashed? Wasn't the the robots and Unleashed E series robots? Anyways, uh, whatever. My point is, is though that the story, the story in adventure, especially for gammas, honestly, is just really underrated. And I don't know. I just, I just like the fact that this robot becomes self-aware, decides to sabotage, and to end up um, ending himself, for lack of a better term, uh, for the sake of freeing the animal inside of it. It's, it's just so. It's so. It's such a heart-wrenching story. And honestly, I. And we'll get to Shadow's like story and adventure too. But honestly, in the end of the day, mm -hmm. I think Adventure has the best gameplay, some of the best, you know, level design. Yeah, some of it can be glitchy, and some parts can be like, uh, have it hasn't aged well. But again, at the time, the game was revolutionary for what it was. And I think the even day, now, think so even fun. now, Adventure is something that I I, I hope they can. I feel like that game has so much more potential, and I, I know we're gonna go into you know, no, it the does, remaster. it does, and if, it does, it has great potential. If they ever did a remake, I don't want. I, I, here's two things. One, if the game, if they cannot replicate what they made in 1998, that'd be sad gameplay wise. If they cannot make Sonic control they, exactly they the way he controlled, it would be a sad thing, and I would lose all credibility for Sonic Team. So I'm really worried about that. They can't do it. They just they, yes, they, they can. won't do it. Yes, do you, they can. Do you know why? They do you know why they won't do it? Do you know why they won't do it? Why won't they? They do will it? script the levels so that everything works quote unquote perfectly, and it will ruin the ability to do certain shortcuts. That you could uh, have well, if they ain't out stuff that wasn't originally intended, well, here's, I don't know. Well, here's so many good shortcuts unintended to it. Well, you here's know what that. I think. If they ever do a remake of Adventure 1, I actually hope it's not just a one-to-one -one remake. I think they could actually fix up some of the stories. They could kind of uh, make it just more accessible well, really, and more... I, I, and, and clean it out. I don't, I don't want them to, to change the cutscenes at all in terms of like. Well, no, dialogue. don't change, don't change the dial, like don't change the cutscenes and stuff like that. But I feel like in terms of like level design and maybe even uh, care, like maybe make Big's story optional, like like stuff like that. Uh, like, I, I don't even think they need to do that. I think that's the problem. They'll, I don't trust them to change anything, and they'll just make the the remake inauthentic. You know. Big all right, Pratt, that we know, but that's, I feel like that's a whole different blah, 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 video, blah, blah. though. Oh, should we just yeah, go on to Adventure I agree. 2? This is, this is totally just speculation it's, it's, at this it's, point. It's a different video, yeah. 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 It's a so, game. I think it has excellent gameplay. I think the soundtrack is... I haven't when, finished the game yet. Yeah, so. like Speed Highway was the turning point of like, holy shit, this music oh, yeah, is so yeah, different. Adventure's ga uh, soundtrack is one of my favorites in the entire series. Oh, yeah, top tier. Top tier. Also, yeah. it's one of the best intros in the series as well. I love that intro. Oh, my God. With chaos and the police, that one. Yeah. Are you talking about the? the oh no, CGI? no, 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 the, the, the very, very gotcha, intro. Yeah, gotcha. the open, yeah, I love that shit. Yeah, but that, if that they're not the remake, they're just gonna, they're just gonna have to show the updated CGI no, like, that, that intro. That intro, I don't think that intro is aged. That looks phenomenal. 
I love that shit. It's just. I mean, game. on a technical like, level, CGI wise is obviously aged. I mean, I guess, but it's still watchable. Whereas <laughs> the cutscenes in game are it's not. It's still high. Look, look. If they're announcing a venture remake, there's nothing else they can do but show that cutscene remake. That's it. And I don't you know, want to see any other thing. I gotta I'm ask. Gonna stop I gotta ask. ask this. Why do you just hate <laughs> Sonic Team? Yeah, I know. Come. on. Yes, I, you, you pessimistic shit. I was 16 when Generations came out. I'm turning 25 in three months. You guys don't understand the bitterness. It it, it builds over time, okay? You know, oh the my god. The game's not even you, out here. Like, they're, they're only going to remake me, that cutscene. No, I, I, I understand. We got the most successful video game movie of all time. Three months ago, yeah, and we're living in 2015 drought city. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'll agree with them. There's a pandemic going on. <laughs> they got made an announcement yesterday on no, the Xbox they can't. event. They're all working from home. They stopped going no, to the office. They, they did. Ago. They did. I was watching it live on the Prem, Xbox. What the hell is wrong with you? You don't want them to you know stay safe? What the oh, fuck? No, 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 that's not, not it. That's not it. They have not been it. making oh game announcements. What they asshole. made one yesterday. What an asshole. They oh. made one yesterday because that that's that's a whole different department when it comes to mobile. The main it's, Sonic team. It was is, no. It was, I'm talking about not Sonic. I'm talking about Yakuza. They announced the Yakuza that's game different. for 2020. That's game. Isn't that a game that's already out in Japan? Yeah, yeah, but they're remaking it. They're porting and they're remastering for a different system. I don't think it's a port or a remaster. I'm pretty sure it's just the same game. But again, I, I feel like I feel like I feel like this is a whole different thing because that, we'll get we'll get into that at the end of the video. Can we actually talk about that?